I tell kids that they are the leaders of their own lives and they're the leaders of their own learning, that they are in charge of them and they can make a huge difference. We came up with a plan to have waste-free lunches and to make it school-wide. We have reusable containers, reusable water bottles, reusable utensils, and through doing that we've reduced our waste by 70%. Parents have been very supportive of all of our environmental activities and in fact some choose our school because of what we're doing. I used to feel overwhelmed by the problem. It's a big world and it has big problems but nothing has ever been changed by somebody saying I can't. The feeling you get when you hear from students right away that what they're doing is something they're enjoying and something, something that they've never done before, especially, like even planting a seed. These are high school kids and they're having fun digging around in dirt. They'll say, it's sunny out, sir, can we go outside and, and, and do class outside? I'm going, honestly, you won't be focused on chemistry or physics at all, and, but environmental science, it belongs outside. When you're in the classroom, you're essentially in a giant box. But when you're outside, especially once, once it's spring, or even if it's fall and it's warm, there are no walls when you're out there. It's, the outdoor classroom is, is a classroom without walls.